All right, these are going to be um, hip mobilizations. Uh, this will be indicated for uh, restricted hip mobility. And basically, we're just going to perform three different methods here. For a caudal, um, for an AP glide, we'll cross the patient's leg over like this. And we'll provide a force down in the AP direction. <laughs> you want to use your body weight, not your arms, otherwise you'll fatigue very quickly. So there's one AP glide, and then I can also have my patient flip over from his stomach, get into an army crawl position, and I'll have my sort of my uh, hand right on the gluteal fold, and I'll provide a anterior mobilization. You should feel this in his anterior hip. And then the final one we can do is a caudal glide. So I'll put the belt on, put it around. You can use a towel to fold under your shorts here. That way you can get really close to the uh, proximal head of the femur. But we're just going to get real, real close there. And I'll pull back with my body to, to, to distract the joint caudally, basically. And while I'm doing that, I can internally rotate his hip. And this will give him potentially increased internal rotation mobility. Beautiful.